two very aggressive characters and then one very yeah. defensive character. Exactly. Meanwhile, exactly. in Lapis Team, what I really like is those three characters, they all want to play the game at three different uh, distances. Yeah. Right? You have the Mega Man who really wants to be far away from you. You have Politena who is really, really, really good in the mid-range. And then you have the Ken who just runs up to you and combos you to oblivion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For sure, of course. Mega Man does have the potential as well to get into that mid-range oh, yeah. scenario and get and completely mesh up. But of course, as you said, it's going to be a bit of a, of a long, more projectile-based, long-range game, mm -hmm. um, especially with this first uh, match happening. Yeah, but Mega then Man Samus. then again, the Lapis Mega Man is a is a big surprise. Well, it's also a big surprise. I think I've seen one charge shot. <laughs> currently yeah. from Titan. So I don't think Samus is his main. So that might be just a... a, a I mean, Samus... A, a, the, their, no their normals are surprisingly oh, good. they are really good. Um, Absolutely. So to kind of uh, wall Mega Man out, of course, Mega Man... Uh, what always really catch me off guard is the, the movement and the fluidity that Mega Man has in the air. Has a lot of micro-movement that they can abuse in the air. Mm -hmm. uh, and against a character like Samus, a very floaty character often has to kind of space yeah, very yeah, yeah. early in advance for those hits. Um, Mega Mega just kind of float around him, so that's an interesting pick to have yeah, there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but currently there's not that much honestly happening. I, <laughs> I don't want to be rude, but it's not that much they're happening. They're it's just very, very <laughs> slowly taking on projectile damage. This is like what we saw with Rivio versus Gurai. It's just chip damage, but yeah. this is like chip damage on half time speed. It's just uh, chip damage, <laughs> but both of them are doing it. Yeah, exactly. And, and not that well. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, we I have mean, the crash bombs so coming far, through. So far, it seems like Lapis is winning the chip damage war. True, but but he, uh, you saw him trying to go for kill setups a few times, not not hitting them. Yeah, it's just being barely off on the kill it's confirms. Uh, we saw the metal blade into the up air, metal blade into the up tilt. Uh, usually the main confirms, oh. but the down air. I don't exactly know what happened there, but uh, Darkness got back to the stage through it. Uh, interesting down air to kind of clear out Mega Man there, send him off the stage. But now it's going to be Lapis yeah. with that first stock, gets the back air off Jump Breed. And now we have a Joker coming through with a pretty damaged Mega Man. Honestly, it's not the end of the, uh, mm -hmm. the stock, but it is going to be closing into yeah. that. And of course, Joker, it, we were talking about chip damage, but Joker with that, uh, with that side B, with the yeah. gun, one of the best in that scenario, mm -hmm. just racking mm -hmm. on damage, keeping your opponent in check constantly to make sure that they know you need, they need to play or else slowly but surely you're going to get eliminated now Mega Man of course with that yeah, gray downer is not going to be and able to kill but with that da but backer is going to be securing this the Joker kill. yeah with a new opponent he almost has a full R sand meter True. and there he is there he is true this could be big damage on his lead that's kind of the thing with, with with Joker I'd say in squad strike as well there is just a one point where Joker can completely invalidate one of your characters mm -hmm. like if you are in a situation where a character you're not that familiar with is against Joker that character could be gone in an instant yeah. and we instantly see 45% Joker is going to be thrown off stage a bit interesting counter but and the down air <laughs> off Lapis <laughs> is going to secure that now it is on the last uh, character for Tartners, the Captain Falcon, but you that Palutena down there looking good. You definitely good. need to have some confidence with your character to go for that, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. That is going to be the downer. It's it's a fast spike, but it's a very precise spike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so great stuff from Lapis there, and now the Captain Falcon untouched, but Just that forward smash! That F smash in neutral. I love it. Against I all, love it. There's so many characters who we can do that against. Against Palutena with the dash attack, that is a very brave move, and now we have the Ken, the deadliest character in Lap is their arsenal. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very famous for needing one or two interactions to close up the stock. But of course, Captain Falcon, also a character who can get yeah. into that front. Well, you say he needs one or two interactions, but the first interaction has already been done for him by the <sighs> by the Palu. Okay, just to get the downer. It. You see him. He's gonna get, get up on the edge. edge. Oh, usually Lapis is very trigger happy with the the Shoryukens mm -hmm. on the ledge. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. When he gets the jump or the, the roll with that, but now staying patient, waiting for to see what Tartanus is gonna do. Is gonna go for the yeah. knee, and that's gonna be punished. That is not safe on the shield, mm -hmm. my guy. And it is gonna be the first game going to Lapis. But honestly, um, not that bad. Not that bad. Yeah. Uh, but. The Mega Man from Lapis, I'm 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 not a fan. I'll be honest. I mean, it did it did it did it did its job. It it just it, it got the first stock. It applied some damage from the second stock. Um, it just took a long, long while. Um, yeah. But that, that, that's fine. We have uh, no time limit. It seems so. That should be. Uh, they can just take their time. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, and you exactly. cannot actually. Oh. 
Okay, oh, it's going to be it Kazuya. Is Kazuya Mishima. Okay, okay. I mean, that's not that far out of the, ball, uh, out of the park. And now I think this is, yeah, this is the true FGC lineup. Uh, Full FGC team. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if Lapis had a real, but I know he is very, uh, I, I know that Terry was uh, at one point a thing. Uh, a very yeah, strong yeah. thing <laughs> on that very one. Very strong. Um, thing. We also that happens for most scan players, right? Exactly. We, we also have a big change in the lineup of yeah. Darkness. We have a Ridley swapping out the Joker, and we have a Roy swapping out the other characters. Ba big fan of Ridley. Yeah. I'm not. I don't think Ridley is very good against FGC characters at all. Mm -hmm. But I'm a big fan of Ridley. Uh, the thing is, like, uh, with, with Ridley, uh, being so big and light is like the worst place to be against Kazuya. Yeah. Like that is just uh, easy food for Kazuya. But then you need to get to electric result, and that's kind of the thing where Ridley has those like long-reaching aerials with like the forward air, the forward yeah. tilt, as well. Uh, they can be uh, in your. They can work in your favor mm -hmm. really, really well. Good and deal. so far. Like, okay, he, he isn't... <gasps> well, he is almost even in damage, honestly. Mm -hmm. Of course, Kazuya just needs a Dragon Punch on that regard to catch the stock being fully invincible. It's not looking that bad, honestly. 83% mm -hmm. and of course, Kazuya is a character with a very bad or a pretty bad disadvantage. Yeah. So if he gets off stage, if he gets in a nasty position, that could be the end of the stock. But now Ridley mm -hmm. at the other side of the stage, 125, is going to see if he can get the stock. But that gate of hell is going to secure the first character. Now the Captain Falcon that is out 83%. So we still have no rate. We still have a rage drive on deck for mm -hmm. Lapis at this point. So that can be really big in this match. Especially if he can, like what he seems to be doing right now, get this Captain Falcon out of the way mm -hmm. before the Rage Dive is online so he can just spend it all on the last character. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, that's kind of the big part yeah. of not having any recovery, uh, hitbox on your recovery. Dead Downer is mm -hmm. going to snipe you out. And the lap is still uh, with the Kazuya. No Rage Drive. And already on the last stock, it's going to be Rage Drive there. There it is. Uh, but it is going to be on Roy. And uh, uh, the Rage Drive SD is going to be a kill here on Roy. Yeah. Not yeah. going to come back from that. So you have a Armored Suicide in Kazuya at this point. But if you go that or far off stage, well, it's just an assistant. No, <laughs> he didn't even need it.